tests. It was really hectic. I was just taking a test one moment and the fire alarm went off. And all of a sudden the teachers are rushing, trying to get us out of the building as fast as we can. No one knew what was going on. I got nervous. <laughs> And so we walked outside and it was raining and I was like, why are we having a fire drill today? Like it's cold, why is it raining? So we were outside for like 20 minutes. Students, staff and parents soon found out that they were dealing with a potentially dangerous situation. Two chemicals reacted to one another. It caused a minor, minor explosion. That caused smoke. It happened in a chemical closet between two science classrooms. Everyone is used to going through the motion of an emergency drill. We had been preparing for emergency evacuations. I mean, that's just kind of the framework that I think all school administrators are thinking about as safety for our students. The students knew to evacuate, and the more than 600 of them eventually walked to the nearby middle school to await instructions. It worked. Yeah. Like, we weren't, well, we yeah, we knew, like, what to do. They, like, got us under control and everything. Yeah. Even though it was even raining, it was cold. The fire was contained quickly, but not before it sparked another problem. The sprinkler system was set off, sending water everywhere and requiring a major cleanup. It takes a whole team to be able to organize and exit 650 students, no matter what kind of emergency it is. So again, the school will be closed for the high school tomorrow. Still trying to figure out exactly how those chemicals mix, but the superintendent said she had a conversation with the science teacher and the bottom line, she said, lesson learned. Reporting live, I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5. All right.